guys, I'm Blair from GoodSignal.com. In this landing page review, I'm going to talk to you about how to make sure your landing page is appropriate and relevant for the role that it plays in your conversion process. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. I'm going to use a little story that happened to me recently to help me explain. But what I want you to take away from this video is a better understanding of the job that your landing page has to do and to try and pull you away from this um, kind of stereotypical expectation that your landing page has to be a routine part of your website you know for example your home page it doesn't and uh, what I'm going to show you here is a really effective um, use of landing page um, design uh, to that is really really aware of the job it has to do in the conversion process for the company who owns it so what you're looking at here is a landing page which I arrived at having clicked on a link which was sent to me from one of my connections on LinkedIn. The site itself is called uh, Referral Key and it's all about um, sharing referrals between businesses. You know, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, that sort of thing. Now I've not heard of this site before um, but I did do some, uh, some research and that's going to be part of my story which I'll share with you as we go along. But as far as a landing page review is concerned, the first thing that kind of struck me was I began this process from a personal email sent to me to my personal email account with a link uh, to click on. And when I arrived on the landing page, that kind of environment was continued for me because the first thing I saw was, you know, hi Blair, so it's a personal message, you know, a bit of a message, all the best, and then the person's name, uh, and then the simple call to action here to accept the invite. So the, you know, there's no there's no additional navigation at the top, there's no large banner, there's nothing getting in the way of me taking the next step in the conversion process which is to accept the invite. Now there are a few things which uh, you need to as a designer or as a business owner that you need to satisfy in order to propel people to the next stage in the conversion process and you know, to get them to take action and probably the first thing is answering that global question do I trust you? So I'm not going to click that button unless I trust this person. So that's kind of satisfied a little bit um, by the fact that they know me personally. They put their name on there. And the top here was a picture of them. Obviously, I've had to black that out. I talked about who they were, their company, reminded me of their industry. So I'm starting to build personal trust. Well, they are building trust with me and answering that question for me, which is good. Um, belief, you know, okay, so what is referral key? I don't really know. Um, well, okay, so here's a, you know, a couple of things over here from from reputable sources, so, you know, trust by proxy and belief by proxy, Mashable, well I, I know Mashable and I trust Mashable, so, um, and investment news as well, so, you know, a couple of well-placed testimonials over there are creating or helping to create belief. Do you understand my needs? Well, my needs are more business, so it says here, uh, send you sales leads through referral key, so I'm going to get new sales leads, brilliant. Um, you can begin receiving qualified referrals today. So, you know, this landing page understands what I need. Uh, what's in it for me? Well, that's what's in it for me. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, what do you want from me? They want me to click this button here and, and accept the invite. And probably the last question is, um, you know, is it worth it? That's really the final kind of last minute tick in the box. Is it worth it? Do I really need this? Um, referral key is free to join. Well, it's free. You know, all I'm doing is accepting an invite. You know, it's a fairly low-key uh, conversion um, action. So the likelihood is that this landing page will propel people forward into the next stage in the conversion process because people will probably click on accept invite. So the next step for me was uh, trying to find out a little bit more about referral key. I, I want to know who these guys are. What is this service? What's it going to do for me um, before I click that accept invite button? So like most people, I uh, I went to trusty Google, and the first thing I typed in was referral key. So unsurprisingly, or surprisingly, um, I found uh, their their business was uh, was the first link. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I clicked on it. And it obviously took me through to their to their home page. Um, so this once again is a landing page. But the thing that struck me here was once again there was quite a lack of information. Um, you know, the fun way to help friends build referrals and grow your business. Three quick points about what, what it is and what it does. Um, a few more testimonials, okay, great, and then the key conversion facility, which is a sign up box. So, you know, where's 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 the blog? Where's this, the pages and pages of information uh, that are going to explain this service to me? So um, the thing I kind of started to think when I saw this landing page was this landing page is probably not designed 
to act in isolation. This landing page is probably not designed to receive uh, cold, cold, cold visitors from Google who have never heard of them before and attempt to convert them into new signups. That's probably not what this page is designed to do. Um, and I can kind of support that a little more. If we go back to Google and if we type in um, you know, business referrals, I mean, if I need business referrals, I'm probably going to type in something like business referrals. And now if we look down the list of links, you know, you can't see referral key anywhere on page one. So this landing page is once again playing its role within the conversion pathway. So it's taking a person like me who has received a, a link sent via a personal email. I've clicked on that link. I've gone through to the accept invite page, not quite ready to sign up, do my research and come uh, to referral key using their business name as a thing that I type into Google. So hopefully this video has shown you that your landing page doesn't need to be your home page. In fact, it needs to be appropriate and relevant to the stage in the conversion process that it occupies. And if all that means is it's a really simple design, um, you know, that's personalized, that has one simple button that is kind of devoid of all other information, if that's what's going to get people to take action, then that's the sort of landing page that you need. So if you have any comments about that uh, or anything you want to add, uh, then please leave them down below. My name's Blair and this was Good Signal. Thank you.